What's going on, people? It's your boy, that guy, Ike. Thank you for checking out another episode of One Race Lifestyle. And today, we are going to talk about tips to prevent your motorcycle from being stolen. <laughs> all right, so all up and down my timeline uh, here in Orlando, I'm a part of a... Uh, that a little fly i'm a part of a uh, motorcycle group here called central florida motorcycle riders um if you're in orlando definitely check them out but yeah so anyway all up and down my timeline you know it's a neighbor it's a community of riders and they share their experiences they help each other out it's a brotherhood a collective and i've been seeing lately a lot of people talking about their motorcycles getting stolen so i figured i'll go ahead and shoot this video to maybe give you some tips on how to prevent that from happening to you now as we know and here's the disclaimer i'm going to put in here i am not an expert on this stuff and also you can do whatever possible whatever anti-theft activities that you want to try to do but if somebody wants it bad enough as with anything they're more than likely going to get it but these are just a few tips that can help you to prevent or deter your motorcycle from being stolen the first tip that I can give you uh, to help prevent your motorcycle from being stolen is locking your handlebars when you park it. As you know, all motorcycles, they have a, uh, a lock. As you can see right now, let me take the key out. As you can see right now, my handlebars are locked. They're not going to go anywhere. You see me trying to move them. Now, this lock, it's the first step, I guess, in, to say to prevent your motorcycle from being stolen. Now, although you can still get around this, there are ways to, but keeping it locked is probably the best thing that you could possibly do. I'm putting the key in. Um, let me see here. All right, digital dash coming on. And as you can see now, it is unlocked. See it? It's now unlocked. So you always want to put your key in, you know, and make sure that your handlebars are locked when you get off your bike. So that is the first step I would suggest to help preventing your uh, motorcycle from getting stolen is lock your freaking handlebars. Get over there. Come here, come here, come here. All right, as you can see, the motorcycle right now is in neutral. And I, and I mean to leave your bike in gear when you park it. So right now it's in neutral. If you can see the green light right there, that means it's in neutral. So when you park your bike like this, and as you can see, I can turn it off and the bike is parked. And if I put my kickstand down over here, the bike is now parked. But if you leave it in neutral, even with your handlebars locked, and if I take the key out, I'm gonna put the key in my pocket, even with the handlebars locked, if it's in neutral, somebody can still put the kickstand up and they can roll away with your motorcycle. As you see, as it's moving freely because it's in neutral. Now, if you park your motorcycle, I always suggest to park it while leaving it in gear, at least first gear. If you do so, then it can't roll away. I'm putting the key back in and turning it on for you all really quick. And I'm putting the bike in gear. So now the motorcycle's in first gear, no longer in neutral. Turning the key back off, taking the key back out of my pocket, back and putting it back into my pocket, and now it's in gear. So if somebody lifts your bike up, you put your kickstand up, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's now in gear. So I would definitely suggest when you park your motorcycle to always park it at least in first gear. Never ever put it in neutral. Next thing I would suggest is to get yourself one of these. This is a, a motorcycle uh, brake disc lock, if you wanna call it. Um, so you can get these in all different types of uh, sizes, weights, colors. They also have some with alarms on them so when your bike moves, they'll make a high pitch uh, chirping noise. But even if you can't get one of those, get one of these. I think I paid 20 bucks for this from uh, Cycle Gear. And what it does is put it in, this is the key for it, and you open it up, and you put it on your lock, on your disc brake right here. And now that prevents your motorcycle from being taken. So they can't roll away. Say if you leave your bike in neutral or if they try to roll it away, this will prevent the bike from moving by having this up there. I would definitely suggest getting them in a bright color um, for one, so when thieves see it, they'll more than likely, you know, choose to go to another bike or an easier target. Um, and also, as a reminder for yourself, when you're walking to your motorcycle, you can see this bright yellowish oranges color and know that it's up there and take it off before you try to ride away and damage your bike or hurt yourself. So definitely invest in one of these. If that's not the first thing you do, you should definitely get one of these. Um, like I said, it only cost me about $14, $20, somewhere around there from Cycle Gear. I'll put all the links in the descriptions below to all the equipment that I have, all the different things that I have for the bike. But this is actually a good theft deterrent 
get one, you can get this one, you can get the one with the alarm. Some people buy more than one to put on the front and on the back, which is something you could do as well, but at least get one because it works, right? right? So the next thing I would suggest would be is to get a chain for your motorcycle. Um, you do have some people that, that live in apartment complexes uh, where they have areas where you can park your bikes and you can chain them up to different things. So you can also buy a chain to purchase. They do have some where actually it has a rubber coating around it so it doesn't scratch your frame or scratch your paint. Uh, when you do chain up your bike, I would suggest not doing it through the wheels because wheels can be easily removed from motorcycles in a matter of minutes. Like literally you can take a wheel off in like two minutes. Um, so I would definitely suggest not doing it through the wheels. If you do get a chain, definitely do it through the frame and chain it to something that's, that can't be moved. Um, one downside about having a chain is that they're heavy. Most people do not want to ride around with a big chain in their backpack. Um, so that's why I stay with the disc lock and also some of the other things I'm going to tell you about in this video as well. But if you can, if you live in an apartment complex, especially if you live in an apartment complex, because that seems to be where most bikes get stolen from. If you have some place to chain your bike to, get you a chain chain it up at night in the day you can take the chain off put it in your house and go on about your right, day so the next thing i would definitely suggest is if you do not have one is to get a motorcycle cover this is mine's as you see it has reflectors on it it's durable it's weatherproof keeps your bike out of the elements but it also serves as a great theft deterrent most thieves if they cannot see it they more than likely won't try to steal it because they don't know what it is looking at this unless you unless you did not know what i already ride you wouldn't know what this is you don't know if it's a Harley, if it's a scooter, if it's a sport bike. So most of these are not going to waste their time trying to figure out what it is. They're just trying to get in, get whatever they want to get and get out. So they're not going to take their time trying to get a cover or look at, at a cover on a bike. Um, a good, another good thing about this cover is that if you come over here, this cover actually has holes in the front up here. So you can actually put a U-lock through it and you can lock it through your wheel so that keeps the cover on. So you put your lock through here, there's another hole on the other side and it fits through your wheel so you can lock the wheels together. So definitely, I would definitely suggest investing in a motorcycle cover. This one right here I think was about 25 bucks or so off of Amazon. I'll also put a link in the description below on this cover, but definitely get one. This is actually my second cover. My fiance bought me this one, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so this cover right here um, is definitely good. It keeps your bike out of the elements, keeps it out of the rain, keeps it from getting dirty, but it also serves as a great theft deterrent to keep it from getting stolen. So if you can, get yourself a motorcycle cover ASAP, okay? They're really cheap, really inexpensive. Get one. So my Thanks. next tip for you to help to prevent your motorcycle from being stolen is to never ever park the bike in the back of a parking lot. The last thing you want to do is give thieves more time and, and also the ability to be able to mess with or steal your motorcycle where nobody can see it or, you know, or is watching it. If you can't see it from the place of business that you're in, definitely don't park it in the back of a parking lot. Uh, just a hint, uh, a tip for what I actually do when I go places, if I'm riding my bike, if I'm running errands, I never ever put the bike in the back of the parking lot. I actually don't even put it in a parking slot. I always bring the bike up on the sidewalk in front of the store and I leave it there. If I'm just going to be in and out, it should be totally fine. Nobody will mess with it. Nobody should say anything to you about parking the bike there. But I never ever put the motorcycle in the back of a parking lot to where thieves can mess with it or they could take it and I can't even see what's going on with it. You always want to be able to make sure that you can see your bike from the place of business that you're in. So that's the next tip. Never ever put the bike in the back of a parking lot where you can't see. All right, so my next tip I would suggest is when you, if you happen to park your bike in a parking lot, is you want to avoid parking it next to vans or next to trucks. I say this because most thieves that steal motorcycles, they usually use vans or trucks. So, and it only takes a couple seconds for two dudes to pick up a motorcycle and pull it into a van, or a couple seconds for two guys to take this, pick up the bike and put it into the back of a truck. That's even with the cover being on it, that's even with it being left locked in our first gear, that's with the handlebars being locked, and that's even with the uh, disc brake lock on it. So. That, that can tell you all those things would be great, but if you get two guys that are strong enough, they can grab front wheel, they can grab the rear wheel, and they can pick the whole bike up and put it into a van in a matter of seconds and pull off with your bike. So never, ever, ever park your motorcycle next to a van or next to a truck. I can't express this enough. I've heard way too many horror stories where people pull their bikes in, they pull it up, they think it's fine, and they're in the store five minutes and they come out, that van is gone and their motorcycle is gone. So never, ever park next to a van or a pickup truck. 
All right, so my next tip for you would be is to get a GPS for your bike. It's uh, They're pretty common nowadays. The GPS allows you to be able to track your bike, um, keep an eye on it as well. I know a lot of finance companies does it as well for cars. They'll put GPSs on them as well to make sure that their investment is being, uh, is being secured. So you definitely want to look into getting a GPS for your motorcycle. Now the question people will have is, do I have a GPS on my motorcycle? My answer to that is, if you steal it, you will find out. So that's the best answer that I have for that question. But definitely invest in getting a GPS for your bike. They're very inexpensive to operate. You have some that alert your phone if your bike is moved. It'll pinpoint exactly where your motorcycle is at. I'll, I'll go ahead and post some links to a couple GPSs below that you can look into and find what's best uh, for your situation. But definitely I would suggest getting a GPS for your bike. All right, so the next tip I would give is to get an alarm for your bike. Um, they have all types of alarms for cars. I've seen people put, they got alarms and GPSs and stuff for laptops, all types of stuff. So why not get one on your bike? Um, alarms can be very inexpensive. They do a lot of the same things that GPS, GPSs can do. They'll track your bike. They'll send you alerts to let you know if your bike is being tampered with. Uh, so definitely invest in getting an alarm for it. They're really inexpensive. And also, if somebody tries to take your bike, it'll create that noise to let somebody know, hey, something's going on. It's not right. Please check on me because this alarm is going off. So I would definitely suggest investing in an alarm for your motorcycle. They even have some that are pretty cool. They have some that are automatic start your bike as well nowadays, which is pretty cool. So definitely look into that. I'll, again, I'll also include some information in the description below on different alarm systems that you can check out as well for your motorcycle. Right, so my next tip for you to help prevent your uh, motorcycle from being stolen, I would suggest would be is to get an alternate kill switch. Most people that have motorcycles know most that's my neighbor over there. Most people that have motorcycles, they do know that motorcycles come with the kill switch. Uh, it's usually on the kickstand. You can also uh, deactivate that. You can have it move somewhere else. So that way, if anybody tries to start your motorcycle, it will not start. Because in order to start a motorcycle, everybody knows the kickstand has to be up or it or, will or actually to move it. Uh, most It won't start. So definitely uh, look into that, getting an alternate kill switch to use as well. Usually when most people buy motorcycles, they don't even think about their current living situation as far as for where they're going to put it. They just figure they're going to get a bike and this is where they're going to put it at and that's it. Um, I would definitely suggest if you live in an apartment complex or if you live in a building of some sort, I would definitely suggest thinking into getting a, uh, a storage unit to keep your motorcycle in. Last thing you want to do is live on the 20th floor of an apartment building and your motorcycle is sitting outside in a parking lot where everybody can see it, touch it, sit on it, mess with it, steal it. So you definitely want to look into getting a storage unit. Um, or if you live in a house, put it inside your garage. If you don't have a garage for whatever reason, put the bike inside of your house or put it in a place to where it's not visible. But the last thing you want to do is leave your motorcycle sitting outside all times of night by itself where people can come by and potentially steal it or damage it or do something to it. So definitely consider getting a storage unit of some sort or some place to put your motorcycle safely so that way you know in the morning when you go out there to get it and ride it that it's still going to be there. All right, so one of the next things that I would suggest is if you are a motorcycle rider, whether you're a daily rider um, or if you're not, is if you're going to be out and you're going to be running errands, don't take the motorcycle. That's just a simple fact. I know some people say, oh, I need to ride my bike every day. I I'm bike life. I'm riding all the time, rain, sleet, or snow. But you have to figure, you have to understand that when you take these bike different places, a lot of times you're leaving it outside. So definitely, if you know that you're going to be out and you're running errands all day long, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., that you're going to be out all day in and out of stores having to leave your bike outside in the parking lot, then drive your car. Either drive your car or take an Uber, find somebody else that can take you to where you want to go. But the last thing you want to do is continuously leaving your bike out there and leaving it more opportunity to be stolen or damaged by thieves or just people that just don't like motorcycles for whatever reason and like to damage them. So definitely I would suggest drive your car if you're going to be out running in and out of stores all day long because you don't know what the parking situation are going to be at all these different stores. You might have to leave your bike in the back of a parking lot, which I mentioned earlier is a no-no that, that you want to do. So definitely consider either driving, taking an Uber, public transportation, at least get your errands done. And then when you're done with that, get on your bike and then finish enjoying the rest of your day. Last and final tip that I have for you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get freaking insurance. Get freaking insurance. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. All right, so get insurance on your motorcycle. Please 
Don't let the person that sells you the motorcycle, don't let the dealership tell you, don't let your homeboy that's been riding forever, that doesn't have his endorsement, and doesn't have insurance, and doesn't have the proper lights on his motorcycle, and constantly runs from the police, tell you that you do not need insurance. Get freaking insurance on your investment. I don't know why you would not why you would even buy something so expensive and not have it insured. Insurance not only just covers, you know, the replacement of the motorcycle, but if it's stolen, but suppose somebody, you know, runs into you, somebody hits you, you drop it and break it, or whatever the situation may be, get freaking insurance. Insurance for motorcycles is so inexpensive. It's a lot cheaper than a car. The deposits are a lot cheaper than the car. The monthly is almost next to nothing. Get freaking insurance for your motorcycle, please. All right, All right. people, so that will do it, man. Uh, thank you again for watching. I hope those tips help you. Like I said, those are just tips to, to help deter your motorcycle from being stolen. If somebody wants it bad enough, trust me, regardless of what you do, they're gonna get it. Um, but definitely those tips are good to help prevent it or at least slow them down a little bit from stealing your prize possession. All right, so I'm getting ready to wash this thing up. Before I get out of here, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook at One Race Lifestyle. Uh, also, this video is sponsored by IVMM, Indie Virtual Music Marketer. Make sure you check them out at we, W-E-R, the letter R, IVMM.com. If you're an artist and you're trying to get on and you're trying to get your music out there, they'll take care of you and get it done for you. Also, really quick, man, shout out to Omi and a Hellcat. I just want to say all of us fellow YouTubers are praying for you, man. If there's anything you need, reach out to us, man. You've been real since day one. Definitely appreciate the uh, the uh, inspiration that you provided for everybody, man. So whatever we got to do to help you out and get you back on your feet, man, let us know. And we got you. And again, man, make sure, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell for updates. Again, follow me on Instagram, One Race Lifestyle. It's your boy, that guy, Ike, and I am out of here, man. Thanks for watching. Later.